hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm showing you guys how to ship orders from home so just keep watching so for the shipping site we are going to be using pirate ship i highly recommend it it's the only one i know of that you don't need to pay a monthly fee just to purchase labels from here they don't ask for credit card information um, all you do have to pay for is the labels super easy I I can't really say enough about it if you guys are not using pirate ship you need to hop on your computer download it right now so I'm gonna go ahead and log in okay so this part of the video is a quick little recording on my phone because I couldn't figure out a way to cover up my customers names and I didn't want to put their information out like that but right here I like that it shows the status of the package that you just printed a label for so for example these two right here I just printed up today so it says they're ready to ship and then these right here in transit that means that the USPS has already got it and it's on the way to the customer right here it got delivered to the customer and then so so on and so forth you guys see all these were delivered so i really like that so you can like quickly um, check the status of an order like if someone asks where their order is or blah 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 um you come right here let me make sure it doesn't show any details so right now i just clicked on one of them and it's in transit and it's out for delivery, should be delivered today. And I really like this, it like shows, so where point A is, is me, where I shipped it from, and point B is where it's going, which I think is super, super cool. Now say that you wanted to um, connect Pirate Ship to your Etsy, your Shopify, Big Cartel, Wix, Weebly, Square, all that. You would come right here and you would just click on one of these, whichever one you um, your store is from. So if you sell on Etsy, you would click there and connect it. Um, if you sell on Shopify, click right there, connect it. Um, Big Cartel, um, Square, all that. They're all right there. So yeah, that's a really cool thing. We're gonna go back to ship. Now, since I am currently only doing custom orders, I don't have a website for people to go and click on and order from me. I do it all through my Instagram DMs. I don't need to import orders. So I'm gonna go right here to create a single label at the top. And from here on out, I should have a screen recording and I'm gonna show you guys the quick way to ship from your home. So after you click on create a shipping label, this is where it's going to take you. And this is where you're gonna input all the customer's um, address and email and name and all that. They, uh, the email and phone number are optional. I think if you put that, it like sends shipping updates to the customer, which is super helpful. So I would recommend if you are taking uh, orders like I am to get that information. We're gonna go ahead and put the name. I put Doja Cat, <laughs> I don't know why. And then uh, the address I put in was random. I was just clicking numbers. But what I like about Pirate Ship is it will pull the address. Like if you put in the first, um, the numbers of the address, it'll give you all these options and you'll see the address pop up click on it and it inputs all the information for you so you don't have to see how at the bottom the city's popping up the state the zip code the country at this point you would double check that that is the correct address for your customer and then you would scroll down to choose the packaging so they do you do choose the type of packaging that you're shipping in whether it's a bubble mailer, boxes, the type of boxes and stuff, and then give you all the options that you can choose from.
I did go ahead and choose this option because I am shipping in a bubble mailer. And if you do not know the length and the width of your bubble mailer, it's always in the description. If you order off of Amazon or any shipping site, it will say a 4x8, 6x10, 8.5x12. So that's what you look at. I am doing a 6x10, so that is what I put. And you guys are all grown, you should know length and width. <laughs> And to weigh it, I do have my scale here and I weigh by ounces. So this ended up being, I think, 6.68. So I just rounded it to 70 and you just use the seven. And that is what I put. And from there, you just scroll down and uh, click on get rates, super easy. So right here I just double checked and this is where you would double check the customer's name is correct, their address is correct, and this is when you choose the type of shipping that you want to um, ship your order in. Do you want it to be first class, which is like the regular shipping, priority mail, which is one to three days, or like express priority uh, shipping when it gets to them within two days. This is a fake <laughs> label, so I went with the cheapest one. And after you choose the shipping, you just click down at the bottom and purchase it. I didn't show that part because my uh, debit card information was right there and I don't want that out. <laughs> so after you purchase the shipping label, this is where it's going to take you and it's super cool. It shows you on the map like where exactly the package is going. So right here we just downloaded the label so we can print it out. Also, I don't know if I said this before, but the address on the label you guys see is my P.O. box. That's not my home address. And that is how you ship orders from home. I hope this video helped you out. Feel free to leave any questions down in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time. You